this is Nikki Tamaya for Top Gear Philippines and we're here with a brand new 2021 Mitsubishi Mirage G4. Now this car has been a big success for the company over the past few years and this new model hopes to build upon that success. Furthermore, as one of the few cars built in the Philippines, it's exempted from taxes that many new cars have to pay. But before we get into this car, please look below, like and subscribe our channel for more content from Top Gear Philippines. Now the Mirage has been a sales success for Mitsubishi ever since it was conceptualized. This small car has revolutionized the small car market. It started an arms race in terms of price and features that resonates to this day. But can the new G4 compete in an era where car sales are kind of in the doldrums and the Chinese are coming up fast? Exterior changes for the car for 2021 are quite limited. If you saw the car from the rear or the side, you'd be hard pressed to tell any difference unless you of course spot the new twin H spoke mags, which are kind of nice. Up front is where all the action is with the new dynamic shield design, which brings the car more in line with the new Montero Sport, the Strada and the Expander and Expander Cross. It's quite nice and we were kind of worried beforehand that it wouldn't fit a car this small, but Mitsubishi has done a good job of modifying the design so that it fits on the G4. On the inside, I have no complaints. I drive an old Mirage and this is pretty nice compared to the old Mirage. You still get a lot of plastics, you know, Obviously, at this price point, you don't expect much more than that. Of course, it does get upgraded seats. They've got more support now and it, they feel really nice. And you've got more bright work, a lot of piano black finishes. You've got this nice wrapped steering wheel. These new instrument gauges, they're, they're really sporty. This isn't a sporty car, but I'll let that pass. They look pretty good. But you also get this new head unit that finally has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And I love it. With an Apple, it hooks up instantly. With Android Auto, it took a little fiddling. I finally got it to work. But once you've got it working, you can stream all your music. You can play all your music on your phone. You can use Waze. You can use Google Maps. You can do anything you want. Granted, you could do that before with the Bluetooth connection, but Android Auto just makes it so much easier to do anything. The 1.2 liter engine under the hood is great at getting you places without using a lot of gas. It's the same 1.2 under the hood of the old G4, the same 1.2 under the hood of the original Mirage that launched about a decade ago. But why fix it if it isn't broken? That engine is great at getting good fuel economy no matter where you put it. It's only three cylinders, lacking one cylinder versus other sedans, and that's one cylinder less friction when you're driving down the road. And that results in fuel economy of like 26 kilometers a liter on the highway, more if you push it, and I've pushed it and I've gotten fantastic economy with my own Mirage. The CVT it's attached to, okay, I don't like automatics, but it's responsive enough. You ask it for power, it gives you power. You switch it into B mode and it can go faster. Well, overtake faster, you still only have 1.2 liters of displacement to get going. Driving dynamics, there's not much we can say about this car because we're only driving it around the stockyard at Mitsubishi, but it doesn't feel much different to the old G4. It does feel maybe a little firmer, a little more driving on an even keel than the old car, but we need to wait for a longer test drive to find out how good it really is. And so ends our time with the new Mirage G4, and we've had a good time with it. It's a great upgrade over the old car. Better seats, much better infotainment system, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. I mean, all the techies in the crowd, you know what that means. More sounds, more navigation, it's just better overall. But is it worth your consideration? Is it worth the price? Is it worth what Mitsubishi is asking you to pay for it? We don't know because we don't know how much it'll cost. Either way, it's going to be a great value. It still combines that incredible interior space, incredible economy, and now it's got pretty good infotainment, 
in a small package that's easy to use and very practical. Because not only does it offer you smaller fuel bills, that tiny engine also gives lower maintenance costs than most engines. So for Top Gear Philippines, this has been Nikki Tamayo with the all new Mitsubishi Mirage G4 signing out. Rolling na Rolling. Here we go. <clears throat>